Okay, so here we're going to do a little tour of Triple R's main snake room. And most, well I'd say at least half of things are done through here. Um, when you walk in and on the right, there's scads and scads of baby snakes. Each one is in his own container. Um, I have things, uh, intermittent digital thermometers everywhere. Um, the top units are heated by room temperature and the bottom two units are thermostat controlled to keep them at about 80. And then we walk over and have two racks of leopard geckos and I usually have two per container and then we get to some bigger ones and they're kept individually once they get to a decent size. Super snow. Um, and then they're usually sold out once they're adults um, and if not then I'll put some into breeder colonies in uh, my bedroom. I have a rack of breeder colonies. And this is uh, Bella and her cage. I will be replacing this because wood is very, very unsanitary. Um, can't disinfect it properly and we use the top as a table and you can see it's really warped and stained and so there will be boa files coming in. Boa files are definitely the most recommended uh, that I have of cages. Um, I have escapees, and the reason I have escapees is because of all these little containers that, the sandwich containers, they can pop the lids off every now and then, and then also you can see I have some Rubbermaids that do not have clips or anything. So I do get escapees there too. Um, the room is completely sealed, heated with an electric um, heater for the most, uh, electric baseboard which is wired in um, and then I have weather stripping on the door to the outside so that it uh, if they get out they're usually just in the snake room. Um, these racks were just custom builds by my husband before he understood why I wanted lidless racks <laughs> and then we get into the boa files, my prized possessions. I love boa files. I tried some Canadian ones uh, a while ago and just wasn't that impressed with the quality in the customer service. So I will say boa file. Jeff Ronnie's great. Um, there's some breeding corns in these. Um, it's a hypo. Um, and I have corn snakes, and I have a few cages with rainbow boas, um, and then I have a few ball pythons, it's a high contrast spider. Uh, a lemon bee female. Uh, this should be a regular spider, yeah, this regular spider. Uh, this is a super pastel female. I've had a really good year with the balls. Tons of eggs. I think I'm at 48 eggs so far. Um, this is a very big male albino and a gigantic gigantic female Just look at the size like she is huge 
hopefully have eggs from her soon. Uh, what else? Uh, I have a nice male pinner. Um, I do have my miniature boa. Tiny. He's in the back. See if I can get him out. Come here, tiny. That's tiny. He is super friendly. And I just love him. He might be a sharp, I don't know. He's just... I think I call him miniature because he is, believe it or not, like four years old. He just doesn't grow. He eats really well. Maybe he grows, but it's slow. And a couple of joined up boa files there have a pair of boas in there. Those are my only cohabbed snakes. Um, have a few sand boas. Uh, somewhere in here. There's a big Annery girl. I have a bunch of those. Snows and normals and nuclears. And that's the main snake room.